Hi, my name is John. I'm the training manager here at Olympia Moving and Storage. And today I'll show you a few tricks for your move. We have uh, two different sizes of boxes, small boxes and large boxes. Also, they come as an inner and outer. That means inner would slide inside the outer. And for larger frames, you can use two, three boxes, depends on the size. In this situation here, we have a, a, a small a small frame, a really nice piece of art. And I'll show you how to set up. So this is the small outer. I have here my packing paper, my tape, and I have some paper pads handy. So first of all, we open up the box. We put it upside down, fold the flaps in. I have the tape handy. One strip of tape in the middle. This will secure the box. And my box is almost ready. I'll set up a bumper. Anyone knows how's a burrito. This is about the same thing, just it's made of paper. So I'll start. And kind of set up diagonally. I'll start from this corner, roll it up. And this is my bumper. As you, you can see, this will fit perfectly inside my box. The role of this bumper is to, to give extra cushioning. This is a, a paper pad. It's about six by seven feet. Uh, you can use it for frames. In this situation, uh, our frame is pretty wide, as you can see, so I'm not gonna put anything inside that box, but if you have two thin frames, you can use one paper pad and fold them together. Make sure they don't touch each other. If you don't have the paper pads, you can put it back to back or front to front, put like a, a sheet of white paper in, in between and that should, should keep them from, from uh, scratching each other. The idea is to cover it completely and keep it safe, okay? I have my box ready. I will slide the frame inside the box. And then I'll put another burrito on the top and I'm ready to seal the box. There might be situations when you have like larger frames that will not fit inside one box. That's not a big issue. We have the uh, inner for the same size of a box. That means this box, if it's set up, will slide inside the other box and you can push it down to fit perfectly on the frame. Let's say the, the frame is about this high, so I'll be sliding this. This is it. I have the inner ready with the paper breather on the top, paper breather on the bottom. So I push this down until I feel a little pressure. This means the frame will be secured and there will be no movement inside the box. I can tilt it, I can do whatever I want and there's gonna be no movement. One last step is to tape these two boxes. You can, you can tape them like that if you want. Sometimes do it like this and this is and then the box is secure. If it drop, and I'll open up the box to show you nothing happened. In this situation, we have a, a odd shaped mirror, uh, like life is not perfect, not, not all the pictures or the, or the frames are square. So what we're gonna do with this one, we're gonna use a little more cushioning inside the box. So we make sure this won't, will not roll. We have the paper pad ready. And our frame is ready to go inside the box. We have a larger frame that will not fit in a small box. So we'll use a larger box. Will be the same situation. It's ready to go inside the box. My burrito is already inside the box. I'll just slide this in. Flip the box, put a couple of burritos on the top until I, I'll, ha I'll feel some pressure when I close the flaps. This way we're ready to move. 